couple of months ago, an American professor at the American University in Cairo was stabbed in the neck outside the, uh, the U.S. Embassy here. So um, there's an increasing anti-American sentiment uh, from the anti-Morsi protesters and from the Muslim Brotherhood as well. Uh, Anti-Morsi protesters see the U.S. as siding with the Brotherhood, and uh, there have been uh, a lot of uh, angry sentiment against the U.S. Ambassador Ann Patterson uh, for calling on the opposition not to engage uh, in uh, mass-scale protests, but to rather engage in dialogue. We saw photos of her yesterday in Tahrir and on the streets with, with her picture crossed out. Uh, so there's increasing uh, anger at the United States. And just finally to add, uh, the uh, U.S. Administration, Secretary of State John Kerry, very quietly approved uh, the $1.3 billion in foreign military assistance, that is the annual aid the U.S. gives to the Egyptian military here, uh, despite the uh, arrest and the conviction of 43 NGO workers uh, who were sentenced to between one and five years in prison, including 15 Americans uh, who were tried in absentia, except for one of them. Secretary of State John Kerry uh, waived those concerns in Congress and, uh, and allowed this foreign military to assistance to go forward. And the letter that was leaked to the Daily Beast, you can read, includes the reasons uh, of stopping uh, attacks from Gaza into Israel, allowing U.S. warships through the Suez Canal, um, allowing U.S. Uh, military overflight rights over Egypt. So, again, trumping uh, security and military concerns, Trump uh, concerns of democracy and human rights and justice, which has been the policy, the U.S. policy, for some time now uh, towards Egypt.